What is up guys, we're back with some more Carol programming. And today we're actually going to start with the start function, which is something that I've been bringing up since the beginning of this video series. So we're here with the little quiz that usually comes out after the video, the start function. And let's let's take it here hand by hand. How many times should the start function be defined in a program? And now, here's the trick, you don't need to define the start function. Because if you remember what I said in one of my first videos, the start function automatically gets called the moment you run the program. The start function is the function that you define from the very beginning. Because all of your code will go inside the start function. So you have to define it once. There you go. How many times should the start function be called in a program? And this is once, because like I said, it just gets called the moment that you press the run button, and then it calls everything that you have inside of your code. Ooh. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was my mistake. <laughs> it's zero, the answer is zero. You don't call the start function, like I said, the run button automatically runs it. So, let's hop onto the uh, example. Tower with start function. So... This is the exercise that we previously did, except that now it has the start function in it, which is basically what I added to it. Because if you remember correctly, I basically grabbed all of the code and smacked it in there into the start function. So that's pretty easy to go over. And now, pancakes with start function. We already did this, so this should be really easy. First, I'm going to do the... Wait, is it ask? Yeah. Make pancakes function oops my bad function make pancakes pancakes and now in make pancakes it was put ball put ball and put ball now that we have our function defined I can also make the double step function oops not uppercase <laughs> function make pancakes now I'd never really mentioned this before oops not make pancakes it was double step <laughs> I never mentioned this before but capitalization really matters because if this would have been uppercase the console does not recognize it as that you're naming a function here it just does something else with it. Don't don't do that. Everything here needs to be uh, lowercase. Same for when you're naming the function. The first letter needs to be lowercase. And yeah, I just thought I would add that up right now. So double step is just move and move. Now that we have that, we can start writing our start function. Function start. And now we're gonna do a simple move then we're gonna make pancakes then we're gonna do double step then we're gonna make pancakes again double step once again make pancakes and then a simple move now if we run the code ooh. You see what I said? Typos. Wait. Okay, so back with our little lesson. Uh, like I said previously, typos can really mess up your code. There I messed up once. I put the A uppercase. And yeah, that shouldn't have gone there. So now let's play press run once again and put ball. No problem, man. put ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't look at that either. So like I said a thousand times before this, debugging is like a good 60-70% of your time. So now if we press run, the program should go normally. Yep, there we go. Submit and continue. And now for the last assignment for today, uh, we're going to have Digging Carol World. 
with the star function this time. So like I said, we've already done this before. We it's it's not that hard. So first we're gonna define our function dig hole, I think it was called, or just dig. Oh bury ball, okay never mind. Okay. And then it's gonna be so Carol is gonna be standing right here, so she's gonna turn right. And she's gonna one, two, three, move three times. So turn right, one, two, three, put a ball, turn around, and then move three times back up. And then turn right. Now, here there's several functions. What? Anyways, there's several. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, no, that's that's it's it's marking me errors because there's some functions there that haven't been defined. So yeah, we need to define turn right. We need to define put a ball. We need to define turn around. And I want to shorten these move ones. So first, let's do function triple step to what I'm going to simply put move, move, move. So now I can delete these. Triple step. And then these. And now we need to define turn right. So turn right. And now we're going to turn left, turn left, and turn left. And now here I forgot to write a function. There we go. Great, we have our triple step, we have our turn right, and now the last thing should be turn around. So for this, Carol needs to turn left twice. And then don't forget to write function, because if not, you're not doing anything. And then that should be about it. So now, oops. We can jump onto our start function. And Carol is going to have to move twice. And then she's going to have to bury the ball. So, bury ball. And a thousand sorries for the noise in the background. But yeah, bury ball. And then after she buries the ball, uh, let's actually run the code to see where she's at. Ooh. Okay, so instead of a semicolon, I put a double dot. And that's why it was marking so many indentation errors. So, one second, please. Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, instead of a semicolon, I put a double dot. So... Now it should run. Oh, another double dot. <laughs> now it should run. Move, move, bury ball. Run all that code, and she is going to be right here. So here she needs to move one, two, three. Great, we can recycle our triple step function. And then another bury ball. So triple step, bury ball, coming back up, another triple step, and then another bury ball, and then a final move. So now I press run. Ooh. <laughs> Instead of step, I wrote spet. <laughs> triple step. Uh huh. It should be fine now. 
Yeah, typos, typos are just not it, to be honest. Typos are... Typos are annoying, to say the least. There you go. So that is everything for today. It wasn't that long of a video, but I hope it helped you. Now that we are actually going to start looking at what I've been dragging on for quite some time. So the final lesson for this Unit 2 is top-down design and decomposition, and why not? We can go over this tomorrow. It's not that much, actually. It's just looking over, like, planning how you're going to code, and why not? Anyways, we'll look at this tomorrow, and please like, share, and subscribe if this helped you, or if you find it interesting, or useful in any way. And, well, see you next time, guys. Bye.